Amy's on the phone right now from Nashville, Tennessee. Amy, welcome to the show. Thank you. Go for I, it. Um, I'm due in two months with a little baby boy. And I'm wondering with all of the crying how I can tell what they mean. Like which cry means what. Well, congrats, and Jimbo, yeah. what do you think? Congratulations, way to go. Thank um, you. Yeah, sure. You know, that, that's, uh, that's tough. Every baby's cry is different, and, and it can and really it takes kind of tuning in to those mm -hmm. cries to really understand them. But there's a few things, a few characteristics about each cry that you can kind of learn about. So we're going to go through a few different cries here and uh, kind of try to kind of decipher them a little bit. So here's the first one. So I call that cry the, the indecisive cry. You know, you're not really, the baby's not really sure, do I need help, do I not need help? You know, there's, the tone is lower, there's kind of an on and off again characteristic to it. And, you know, this is probably something where the baby's either just bored or a little tired, a yeah. little fussy, might have just woken up, might go back to sleep. You know, this is the cry not you could serious. probably, yeah. not serious, you could probably yeah. listen to it, for, let, let the baby go for a little, a few minutes, they might settle themselves down. Uh, of course, if it, gets, if it gets worse, then you go in and, and attend to the baby. So let's go for the next one. They're going to call you on that one, Jim. Oh, God. That makes my breast hurt. Oh, really? It does. Yeah. I'm serious. There's, there's the mothering instinct <laughs> yeah, kicking really in. I call this hurt. the uncomfortable cry. You know, there's more. It's a little louder. There's more. It's more rhythmic. This is something that, you know, there's something going on with the baby. Probably still not serious, but something. Either hungry, thirsty, mm -hmm. wet, dirty. Like the baby's hungry, probably yeah. going to need some attention from you. So this is where you, you go in and, and figure it out. So, uh, so how about the next one? <laughs> wow. That sounds yeah. like children's oh, hospital. Yeah. Me, yeah. That, that sounds think, like the pediatric ER waiting room. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I think even an uh, elderly plastic surgeon knows about this cry, how to, how to deal with this one. But this is obviously a distress cry. You know, yes. there's something going on. The baby's either in pain. Uh, is very scared, there's an illness coming on. This is when you, you run into the room and see what's going on. Definitely not a cry to be ignored. You will, your, your, body, your motherly instinct will just kick in and you will start to get in sync and know, you know which cries to really... Right, and, and we've all been yeah. through this. If it changes, if it's a different cry, mm -hmm. then you mm -hmm. go, uh-huh, maybe you something new is going on. It. He's yep, yep. gotten into his diaper and made a big <laughs> mess in the room. <laughs> yeah, that's when you cry like that. That's yeah. right. <laughs> And Amy, believe it or not, there's one last little thing you can use. There's a new app. There's an app for that. Yeah, cool. <laughs> no. On the yeah. iPhone, and it may help parents figure out why your baby's crying. It's called the Cry Translator. It's pretty simple to use. When your baby begins to, try, to cry, you open the application, you hold it near your baby. Press start on the application. It will immediately begin to analyze your baby's cry. Now, once the application is done analyzing, it will show you a suggestive reason as to why your baby may be crying. Did that say annoyed? Wait, no, yeah, this is annoyed. I'm annoyed. In example, that's what the baby is. Thought. The baby, they're what suggesting the baby's annoyed. And it could be because the baby's not feeling well, there's discomfort, there's stomach gas. And other <coughs> cries, the application may suggest the baby's hungry, sleepy, s simply bored. Things like yeah. you went through. And it also offers suggestions on how you can get your baby to stop crying. So, is this you know, This is kind of cool. You know, I think it's, it might be fun for a mom to kind of see how that compares with her own instincts, but, I you know, after a couple yeah. of weeks of you having this new baby, know. the mom will know better than yeah. the iPhone. Yeah, absolutely. It, so, great question. Yeah, Thank you. Thank you.